Currently, it has an enrollment of about 450 students pursuing undergraduate studies. The department has well-equipped and well-maintained laboratories. Most of the laboratories are recently modernized and upgraded. The newly established Instrumental Analysis Laboratory houses sophisticated equipment. The department is engaged in a number of research projects of industrial and theoretical significance under its postgraduate and faculty research programs. Department of Polymer and Process Engineering. The Department of Polymer and Process Engineering was initiated in 2002 as a division of the Department of Chemical Engineering with an intake of 30 students. The department is a recent addition to the university and was established on January 2006. It has already gained considerable prestige and standing in the academic and industrial world due to a motivated and outstanding faculty, hardworking and dedicated administration and state-of-the-art laboratories costing more than 40 million rupees. Department of Metallurgical and Materials Engineering the department was established in the year 1965 and is now developed into the leading department in the country in terms of its faculty and facility. Its total enrollment of students at present is about 250. The field is immensely broad and materials engineers work in various industries. Department of Mining Engineering The department was established in 1954 to utilize the vast natural resources in the country and has the distinction of being the first in the country to offer a formal degree in mining engineering. The department has well-equipped laboratories, a career in mining engineering processes, a good opportunity both in the private and government sector. Geological engineering is a relatively new discipline and the University of Engineering and Technology Lahore introduced it for the first time in Pakistan in collaboration with the Mining Engineering Department in 2001. In view of the national demand and popularity of the degree program, an independent department, Geological Engineering, has been established since January 2006 in its own building. The Department of Petroleum and Gas Engineering has the distinction of being the pioneer in the country to offer degree program in petroleum engineering. It was first introduced in 1969 as a division of mining engineering department. The department has the facility of well-equipped labs. The department has been the major contributor towards the endowing and establishing the profession of petroleum and gas engineering in Pakistan. Faculty of Architecture and Planning consists of two departments, School of Architecture and Design. The UET School of Architecture and Design is an academic entity of the UET. The school has been given the mandate for offering the full arrays of creative disciplines that help delineate our built environment. Presently under the school, there are two degree awarding departments. The new department and its first bachelor program in product and industrial design will support the innovative and creative environment of the school. City and Regional Planning Department Established in 1962, the department has the distinction of being one of a kind in the country. Currently, its students enrolled is about 150. Faculty of Natural Sciences, Humanities, and Islamic Studies consists of four departments. The history of the Department of Chemistry is as old as 1923. The department started MSc Applied Chemistry programs in 1995 and MPhil Chemistry in 2001. The other academic program includes Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry. The department is also offering applied chemistry courses to engineering disciplines. Department of Mathematics. Most of the degree programs offered by different departments of the university have courses in applied mathematics and statistics as an integral part of the curriculum. 
The Department of Physics is another important feature of the university where research is done in collaboration with R&D organizations. The department has well-equipped laboratories where students have the opportunity of performing experiments at an advanced level with special emphasis on the applied concepts of physics. The department also has started PhD programs besides offering master's degrees in applied physics. Department of Islamic Studies. The engineering curricula in the university are supplemented with courses in Islamic studies. These are meant to appraise the students of the cultural, political, economic, and other aspects of Islamic ideology. Research is an essential dimension of a higher seat of learning. In realization of this objective, soon after its establishment in 1961, the university set up a directorate to organize and promote research and advisory services. Adequate space has been allocated to the center out of the existing academic blocks. Necessary equipment and machinery has also been arranged for the center from various sources. A faculty unmatched in caliber is already available in the university, which will conduct and guide research. The research work will mainly focus on solving the problems faced by industry and private entrepreneur. Recently, the center has received a grant of 20 million rupees from the government, and this shall go a long way towards establishment of facilities and provisions of equipment in the laboratories. Al Khwazmi Institute of Computer Science. The imperatives of the new millennium will be different. The information technology revolution will continue to propel the changes in the global environment in computer science. In 2002, Khwazmi Institute of Computer Science was established as a specialized center for applied research in computer science, data communication, embedded control system, and digital systems. The UET Lahore has a state-of-the-art lecture theater, auditorium, and seminar hall, where the university's management organizes different seminars, conferences, and special lectures to enhance skills and abilities of the students. The National Library of Engineering Sciences is a central library for the university. With a seating capacity for 400 readers and boasting more than 125,000 volumes and 60,000 issues of scientific and technical serial, the library provides a highly comfortable atmosphere to students and researchers. It has a large capacity, long queues of bookshelves, and a well-organized seating arrangement has made it popular among students from all faculties and departments. The students coming from out of Lahore are accommodated in hostels. The buildings of the hostels are located within the university premises. Canteens are also set up in hostels to cater day-to-day -day needs and requirements of students. High security arrangements are ensured in and around the university, including the hostels. Religious activities of the students are also catered for accordingly as a healthy outlet for the human competitive nature. Sports is considered to be the most valuable outlet. A sound body helps to create an environment in which the mind can thrive. The university provides ample facilities to the students for participation in games and sports. A huge swimming pool is provided with the sports complex where the students visit regularly. The UET Lahore has also set up its own powerhouse to ensure uninterrupted supply of electricity to the campus and a substantial cut on cost per unit. The powerhouse is constructed at a cost of 55 million rupees and it can generate 1.16 megawatts under grade one and grade two. The vision of UET represents a commitment to improving quality. To achieve our aspirations, we have to take what is already a very good university of engineering, renowned for excellence in a number of areas, and move it forward. To that end, we will maintain 